Hello, I'm I'm PK. I'm a faculty at Triple IIT Hyderabad. Hi, and I'm Ravindran. I'm a faculty at IIT Madras, and uh, we are uh, we uh, jointly teaching this uh, course on responsible and safe AI along with uh, Arun Rajkumar, also from IIT Madras. So AI is in everything, everywhere, right? It's affecting uh, you know all fields and even everyday life now. So when uh, AI is interacting with you know well-defined systems such as nuclear fusion, so we know how uh, you know we should uh, control the AI, right? But when it starts interacting with human beings, that is when the challenges start. So there are a lot of serious ethical questions that arise when we start using AI in a broader setting, right? So for example, uh, there are a lot of stories about AI uh, sending the wrong people to jail because it's misidentified uh, people from videos, right? And uh, here facial recognition uh, led the police to arrest the wrong person uh, in, in, in a shoplifting case. And of course, there are things like, you know, a, a picture of Obama when uh, the AI was asked to make the resolution of the picture better. It not only made the picture better, but it also converted Obama into a white man. Right? So here is an example to dive deep into the bias case. Right? So there was this AI system that was used to decide bail plea. Right? And uh, uh, it was uh, uh, scoring people as uh, whether they have a low risk of uh, you know, committing a crime when they were released or whether they have a high risk. Right? And here is an example where it uh, looked at uh, this person on the left and said uh, he has a low risk of uh, committing a crime and the person on the right had a high risk of committing the crime. Uh, it turns out that the girl uh, had uh, only uh, a few uh, kind of juvenile misdemeanors and after she was released, she was clean. But the guy is uh, like a you know a habitual offender and he had committed multiple armed robberies and after he was released, he actually was involved in more theft, right, and grand theft. And uh, the primary reason, of course, the system decided that uh, the the man was of less risk because he was white and, and the girl was black and therefore it decided that uh, the girl was of a high risk. Uh, these kind of biases are reflected in how we make decisions and they get translated over to the AI systems. There are ways and means which you can guard for it, you know, uh, which you can make sure it doesn't happen, fix these biases and at least be aware when these biases happen and measure these. Right? So these are some of the things that we will be discussing uh, during the duration of the course. The post conditions for the course are students will recognize possible harms that can be caused by modern AI capabilities, which is students will be able to understand uh, the AI capabilities and uh, AI risks also connected to the AI capabilities. Students will uh, learn to reason about various perspectives on the trajectory of AI development and proliferation, which is uh, what are the ways by which AI uh, is penetrating our lives, what are the risks connected to it, all of that we will cover in the class. Students will learn about the uh, latest research and agendas towards making AI systems safer. That is probably the main goal of this class. The first two is to give you an introduction about uh, what are the AI capabilities and what are the AI risks and then look at what are the problems that are uh, in this area and how we can actually address solving them. Lectures is the primary mode of uh, the content delivery. We are going to put some pointers in these lectures where you will be able to actually read, participate in the research discussion on the mailing list. Uh, we would highly urge you to participate in the mailing list. And as part of this course, if any of you are interested, feel free to take some ideas from this course, uh, take it as a, as a project uh, that you can do uh, and try it out and come back to us and tell us what you are trying. Uh, we'll be happy to interact with the students in the class in the live sessions of the course also. Here are the set of topics that we'll cover. First part is AI capabilities. Next, uh, we'll cover AI risks and existential risk, which is, look, if these technologies become better and better, uh, will, there be a, will there be a point when human beings have to be worried about, look, AI systems will take over us. That's the existential risk, X risks. Then technical topics, robustness, interpretability, transparency, uh, consistency, uh, are the topics that we will look at in, in the third part of the course. Alignment. Alignment is a big question uh, that we will address in the course, which is look, if you are building technologies, if you are building algorithms, uh, sh the what we want the systems to do and what the uh, systems are doing should be aligned, right? That is the question. It is also called alignment problem, where if the alignment is not there, what are the problems to look at, why uh, these alignment problem comes and how to actually address building the system so that the alignment is more and more uh, captured. The next model is privacy and fairness in AI. Uh, as you saw in the video earlier, there's a lot of fairness questions uh, that shows up. 
also privacy questions. You saw one example for uh, where uh, personal information was being thrown out by these language models. Uh, you saw also examples about fairness, about technologies making fair choices. Uh, we look at that in more detail. Bias and stereotype. Uh, looking at these models, gender bias, geographical bias, there are various biases these language models have. We'll actually get, get in detail about these uh, topics. Then we'll take some uh, view into different verticals. Currently, we are thinking about healthcare, education, and legal, where this responsible and AI uh, comes into a play. For example, legal systems, uh, when a when, uh, judge is using these uh, technologies, uh, what are the problems that can occur? Where should the lawyer be more safe? Where should the judge be more safe? And they are making choices, all that. The last part, which we're going to try out this time, uh, is to actually have a panel discussion uh, where we are going to get some uh, industry uh, practitioners, academia, uh, probably NGO activists together in one platform, ask them questions and record it and put it as part of this course. And of course, uh, paper reading also, we are going to keep some papers to read. We are planning to record some uh, discussions, some students talking about taking a paper in this area, uh, discussing the paper, record it, and then put it as part of this class. Another one is fireside chat. We are hoping that we'll get a couple of uh, academic and researchers, talk to them uh, in brief some questions uh, about what are the work that they are doing and put it as part of this class. Here is a link to the website. Uh, of course, you will get all these content on uh, NPTEL uh, website. Uh, but this website we'll uh, plan to have uh, uh, updated with the papers, updated with the other materials also as part of this course. Join the class. We look forward to having you uh, in the course. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to actually answer and take it forward. Good luck.